yourself. How, how do you grade how the team performed? Uh, of course, you wish we would have performed better. Obviously, we won more wins than losses, but nothing can do about that. Just watch a lot of game film and, and just build and uh, get some great practices in and just focused on uh, the next game ahead. So all in all, it wasn't the road trip that we wanted, but it's one that we have to deal with and uh, just move on from. Old saying, styles make fights. How difficult is it to bring that defensive approach that you guys have on the road against those offensive West Coast teams, especially when you guys are changing the way you guys play offensively without DeMar? Uh, I thought we did good for the most part early on uh, in, the, in the road trip, but as we progressively went forward, our defense started to slip more and more away and started focusing more on offense rather than getting stops. But um, it's just something we have to continue to work on. We were a great defensive team, and then uh, we dropped, you know, despite DeMar being out there, we felt like we should be a good defensive team, a solid top 10 defensive team. And uh, we've gotten away from that, focused a lot more on the offense and rather than defense. And it's something we just got to build back towards. How much of a focus was defense today? Today, uh, today was basically all defense. Uh, just, just starting all over again from the basics, doing a bunch of stuff that we did during training camp, just getting back to the nitty gritty of the defense and trying to get that mentality and uh, attitude back on this team. It's so nice to kind of go back to that kind of stuff that you guys worked on a few months ago and, and also to be back in this gym after being away for so long. It's just great being back in the gym, uh, being back here in Toronto, being back home rather than constantly being in hotel rooms, constantly being on the road. And yeah, it's good to get back to the basics. It's good to get our focus back. And uh, what better way to, to get our focus back than being back home? Coach Casey talked about the fact that there's a certain edge this group plays with in practice, red squad versus white squad, and the fact that he'd like to see some of that attitude and toughness brought onto the floor. Do you notice that you guys kind of have a certain level of intensity in practice that maybe isn't sometimes replicated on the court? Uh, sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. Uh, in practice, uh, we tend to go at each other um, very hard. Uh, we tend to be uh, a lot competitive on the court, and we do need to transition that more so to a game. Um, when we do it on the court, uh, it, it's fun, and it should be just as fun going up against each other as it is going up against competition out on that court because we're all on the same team. We're all together. So we have to get that mentality back, and um, hopefully it will start when we play our, our next game. Let's talk, let's talk a bit about uh, Kyle Lowry uh, you know, with the coach earlier. Um, Nice to see him get that recognition for the uh, player, the player of the month. And also, um, are you surprised that he's still in like fourth place in the All Star voting? So he's in fourth place, so that means he's an All Star, right? Fourth place out of guards. Okay. Fourth place out of guards. Um, that, that's the only recognition I care about. Uh, of course, he'll get you know he'll get Player of the Weeks, you know he'll get Player of the Months. But the only recognition I care most for Kyle is that he makes All Star because. We all know he's an all-star on this team, and uh, we want the rest of the world to know that. So hopefully, before all said and done, uh, he will be an all-star and get the recognition he deserves. Is that system flawed, the fan voting? Um, I don't know. Uh, the fans get to vote, coaches, whoever else get to vote. But at the end of the day, um, it's about how you perform. A lot of guys who have great performances aren't on great teams, and they don't make the all-star. Um, a lot of fans just vote for their favorite players, whether they're playing or not and they get into an all-star game. So um, I feel like it should be like the guys who have the best records on, on certain teams and guys who are leading their teams. And right now, that's Kyle who's leading us. We're in a positive position right now. We're one of the top teams in the East, top team in our division. And when all said and done, I definitely feel like Kyle is an all-star. Does, does it matter to him? I mean, is Kyle, if Kyle's not a guy who's going to go out and say, oh, poor me, yeah. or not. You know, but the, the, as a teammate, do you think it matters to him? In my opinion, yeah, I think it does. Um, every guy wishes that they can be an all-star, you know. So, in my opinion, yeah, I feel like it does matter to him.